Podcast. Everyone has a story. Mine is simple. I'm Candace Dixon, a food blogger and cocktail enthusiast. Bartenders not only have fascinating stories, but they seem to serve a greater purpose behind the bar. Do you know what? I actually kept him out of jail that night. I'm on a quest in New York City to look into their world and quench my thirst for the most outrageous stories to be told. So yeah, that was probably definitely one of the craziest things that's ever happened to me in the bar. So, what's your story? Welcome to Nero's Tavern, the most famous bar you've never heard of. Located in Queens, this spot has been featured in TV shows and movies like Tower Heist and Goodfellas. This beloved bar is home for countless stories. Thankfully, I met with Nikki, the bartender. She'll share some stories of how some guests have taken friendly flirting to a creepy level. Yikes. Well, I can't wait to see what's in store. Let's go. Hey, Nikki. Hey, Candace. Great to see you. Good to see you. Thank you. I'm so excited to be here at Nears. It's kind of like, you know, the cool kid on the block, but it doesn't really admit to being cool and everything. Yes. It's really cool. And Absolutely. yet, it's great for like happy hours, girls' nights, and it's like family oriented too. It definitely is. Yeah, we have a lot of families in the neighborhood that have like grown up here and used to come here and set up the bowling pins when they were kids. Oh, very and, cool. Um, my own family, my grandmother had her wedding reception here oh, back in the so 70s. Sweet. And then um, there was one day that I was working and I actually ended up running into some family that I didn't even know I had. I had a, yeah, I had a table of a, like four people and they asked me about my family and the, me being in the neighborhood and I come to find out that I'm related to them. They're sure. like my grandmother's cousins. It's crazy, like what are the odds of that happening? I know, right? But only at Nears, you know? Okay. And also, like the food and the drinks here are equally as impressive. Do you have any favorite cocktails that you like to make? I do. I think my favorite cocktail is probably the cherry limeade. Oh, okay. Yes. What's in that? So we make it with um, the dragonberry Bacardi and some lime juice, a little bit of spray, a little bit of grenadine. It's absolutely delicious. That sounds delectable. I would love to have that. I would love to make it for you. Thank you. The cherry limeade. First, we're going to fill the glass with ice. All right. We have an ounce and a half of Bacardi Dragonberry. About an ounce of lime juice. Some grenadine. All right. We're gonna shake that. Pour over ice. Top with some spray. And we're gonna garnish with some cherries and a lime. The cherry limeade. So Nikki, you've been bartending for about three years, right? Mm-hmm, yeah, about three years. Very cool. Um, so, you know, of course, I talk to a whole lot of bartenders like mm -hmm. all the time. And some things that come up is that they kind of have customers who kind of like hit on them. Like it can be like kind of like a friendly flirting kind of thing. And mm -hmm. I'm sure that is kind of expected yeah. at first, well, within the job and everything. Mm -hmm. But have you had um, situations like that before? And I how mean, did they go? Yeah, definitely. I mean, I think every bartender has like, you know, uh, situations like that. I, I've definitely had some fun like flirting, like the like, customers will flirt and it's fine. You know, you try to just kind of either laugh it off or, you know, um, politely tell them like, okay, that's not going to happen. Right, right. Um, but and I haven't told you this story yet. Okay. Uh, who was a, <laughs> who was a complete sweetheart, but um, a little off. Like he would come in, he would and he would usually come in, he wouldn't talk very much, but sometimes he would talk to himself. And like, obviously like he was, but he never started a problem. He was such a sweetheart. Um, but I never really had a full conversation with him. And then another day I was opening up and this guy walks in and I'm like, he looks kind of like that guy that comes in at night sometimes that, you know, I, I've, that I know. But this guy that came in was very friendly. Came in, talked up a storm, asked me about my birthday. We had like a big long conversation. And then after a few beers, I realized it's the same person. Like it's the same guy, just 
he was completely sober when he came in. And then after like two or three or four beers, he was the same guy. And I'm like, that's crazy. And then, but he's such a sweetheart. I still see him. He still comes in, and he still remembers my birthday. Like to this day, if I if he if I if I talk to him about it, he'll be like, Yeah, April twenty eighth. I remember your birthday. And he's quite the character. <laughs> it's like multiple personality yeah, it, type it, situation. It was so funny. Yeah, and it was funny because he even like switched his hat back and forth when he. <laughs> now, when he switched his hat, would his would it? Um, that was the moment. It, that was the moment it clicked for me. Yeah, because oh. he literally came in with like the hat facing forward, and then at some point when he was like sitting at the bar, he turned it this way, and I went, "That's the same guy." It was so funny, but he's yeah, he's always a lot of fun, and he's always very has some good things to talk about. Like I said, birthdays are a big thing for him. Yeah, so he talks about like he's always very interested in birthdays and when everybody's birthday. Is. <laughs> but he's like such a sweetheart. I'm sure when he walks in, you're like. I'm in for a good time. Yeah. Let's do this. Yeah, he's 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 really funny. I have another customer. Mm -hmm. I remember this one night I was bartending mm -hmm. and this guy comes in and he looks like you know you get a vibe from certain people. So he sat down and ordered a bud or whatever he was drinking and um you know we had like pleasant conversation. And I was kind of slow, so I kept going back over to him to talk and at one point he goes, "Do you believe in aliens?" And I was like I, I guess, like hypothetically, like there could be <laughs> life not? on other planets, you know. Yeah. And then he proceeded to tell me how, you know, I was abducted by aliens. Oh. And I'm like, I thought he was kidding at first, but he was not. Uh, he was very serious. I was abducted by aliens um, before he moved here. Um, proceeded to tell me all about it, how they like they messed with his brain or something like that, and how nobody believed him, and he he lost his wife because of it. Like this really long, serious story about being abducted by aliens. And you know, as a bartender, you're, you you want to like you want to humor them as of much course, as you can, and be like, wow, that's that's really interesting. I'm I'm sorry that happened to you. You know, you don't want to be like. Did he say how he was abducted, where he was? Uh, I think he said he was outside okay. and he was, and they, they must have abducted him. I, just randomly? <laughs> they just randomly, I guess, abducted him and they, they messed with his head and it was just, <laughs> you know, because he was very serious about it and you know, I didn't want to be insulting and you know, it's, it, if he honestly seemed like he believed that this happened to him, mm -hmm. so I was trying to extricate myself from the conversation without being you know obvious yeah. about it so I was like oh I'm so sorry that happened to you and so you know sorry. I are you okay now and he's like yeah you know sometimes I just you know get my, my brain things right things I, just get jumbled yeah things just get jumbled sometimes and I'm like oh okay you know so just that one time and he's like yeah yeah just the, the one time with aliens so I, I just very slowly kind of excused myself from the conversation but he just kept bringing it up every time I would come back over he would just start talking about getting abducted by aliens I never saw him again that was the one time I ever saw him but quite the character that was oh my gosh well I hope that you continue to have safe working environments and of course Nears is great so no worries about that <laughs> and I've enjoyed my time with you thank you you too oh, thank you so much and I cannot wait to have the three line made again and again oh my god